These are the settings that I'm using to do the engravings on the sides of the on the side of the marksmith. And this engraving is going to be a surface marking only, not a deep engraving. Because if you do a deep engraving, it makes the surface rough and it needs to be finished and, and sanded afterwards. So this is a sp special mark that just changes the color of the surface without affecting it too much. So we're going to put it on the laser table here and this distance is set for an, a different tool but uh, we may adjust it later to set the position here but this is just an example. The focus setting for this engraving is right at the focused right at the top surface right where you're doing the engraving I'm not defocusing at all you typically with like stainless and stuff if you want to get a dark engraving you need to defocus the laser and run high power you can do something similar with this you could also like uh, defocus it and and run it at a higher power uh, this happens to this happens to work well though um, at this setting so it's sometimes tricky to defocus and run it and run at the higher power. So focus is set right there, and that is 38.42 millimeters. That's the focus, which is when it's sitting on top is 25.4 millimeter thick extrusion. Okay, now in the laser software, we have our text that we're going to engrave. The software macro that's going to repeat the engraving ten times. So if we can adjust however long, however many times we want to engrave it by adjusting this number here. So let me show the laser settings. So the laser power is set at 30%. This is a 20 watt laser, fiber laser. The frequency is set at 80,000 hertz. Now I played with this between 60,000 and 80,000. And 80,000 seemed to give the best, darkest mark. So the speed is set at 100 millimeters per second. The idea being that this, this power is not enough to ablate the surface. It's not going to remove material. You're not going to see any sparks. It's just going to change the color of the titanium. And then the line width is 0 0.030 millimeters. And that's also the reason that we need to go pretty slow because we're, we're putting a lot of heat into it at a... Um, but at a low power so that, so that we're not just burning it away. Because if I turn the power much higher than, turn it like, a, I can go 35, maybe 40. When I get to 40, it starts to burn the titanium, even if I crank the speed up a lot. So the Galvo, these are the settings for the Galvo. Usually I don't change this very often. Delay beam, 0.15 milliseconds. I don't, also don't change these settings very often. And these other settings, I usually don't touch them for this purpose. So then the other thing that's important is the hatching. Um, I'm doing an outline here. Set optimized jumps so it's not rastering between because you can get a shadow effect uh, where the laser doesn't really switch off fast enough. Let's do the lasering. If you get an error, it's because the Let's see, user data, the ID number needs to be set right here, 200, to this ID number up here. Go back and look at what the laser is doing. You can see that the laser is not doing a high strength burn. You can barely see the light. You don't hear any noise from it. You don't see any sparks. And that's what you want. If you're seeing sparks and stuff, it means that you're you're etching away material and it's going to have it's going to have a surface roughness to it this you're you're barely going to be able to feel this if at all and it should turn the surface black so every pass so we're doing multiple passes because every pass gets a little bit darker at first it starts out kind of light and then it just keeps getting darker and darker until you get a nice black pass usually after about five passes go to ten it's okay if you start to do too many it kind of seems to discolor after that, like you start to lose it. So 5 to 10 is a good amount. When the lasering is done, you can open up the door and check it out. And you should get a 
this nice mark here, this nice dark mark. You see that? That looks amazing. So nice. The settings are perfect. And hopefully it's not hot. Yeah, you can, I don't even feel anything. I feel basically nothing. You can see that there is no depth to it. It is a very permanent marking. It's not going to come off by just sanding it. It's, it is actually deep, but it's deep within the material, not deep as in a hole.